In this video, we're going to be learning how to solve a typical exam type question with arithmetic sequences. Now, we're told that an arithmetic sequence has second term equal to 6 and fifth term equal to 18, and we're asked to find the sequence's first term and common difference. Now, when we're given this type of question, it's very important to take the time to pick up on what is given and what is being asked. So looking at this, we can see we're dealing with an arithmetic sequence, and we're told that the second term is equal to 6. So I'm just going to go ahead and underline that. Second term is equal to 6. And we're also told that the fifth term is equal to 18. So if I underline that, those are the two things we are given, the two bits of information that we're going to have to use. We're also asked two things. We're asked to find the sequence's first term, which I'll underline, and its common difference. So I'll underline that as well. So in other words, we have two unknowns. Two unknowns. And those two unknowns are the first term, which I'll write u1, and the common difference, which I'll write d. And we're given two bits of information. Those were the second term is equal to 6, so I'll write two bits of info, and those were second term equals to 6, so u2 is equal to 6, and the fifth term is equal to 18, so I'll write u5 equals to 18. Now since we have two unknowns, u1 and d, we're going to need two equations to find those two unknowns. And the way we'll find those two equations is by using the two bits of information we're given. So in other words, these two bits of info will allow us to create two equations. Now, let's get started. Let's use the first bit of information. We're told that u2 is equal to 6, so I'll just write this here, u2 equals to 6. But because we're dealing with an arithmetic sequence, we also know that the nth term of the sequence, un, can be found with the formula u1 plus n minus 1 times d. And so for the second term, u2, that would be u2 equals to u1 plus 2 minus 1 times d, leading us to u2 equals to u1 plus d. But now, since u2 is equal to 6, we can replace u2 here by 6. And that would lead us to 6 is equal to u1 plus d. And that's exactly what we need. We now have one equation with the two unknowns we're looking for, u1 and d. So that's as much as we're going to get from this first bit of information. And I'll just box this equation here. We're going to need that. And I'll actually call it equation 1, e1. Now, using the second bit of information, which was the fifth term is equal to 18, we're going to do exactly the same thing to come up with a second equation. So I'll write u5 equals to 18. And again, using this formula, this formula here for the nth term, for u5, that would lead us to u5 equals to u1 plus 5 minus 1 times d, which leads us to u5 is equal to u1 plus 4d. And now using the fact that u5 is equal to 18, we can replace this u5 by 18, which leads us to our second equation, which will be 18 is equal to u1 plus 4d. So we can see we have a second equation with two unknowns, and those two unknowns are the ones we're looking for, u1 and d. So I'll go ahead and call this equation 2, e2. Now that we have the two equations, we need to solve them. In other words, we're going to be solving simultaneous equations. Now we could do this using elimination or substitution. In this video, I'll be using substitution. So what I'll do to begin with, I'll start with e1, and I'll come up with an expression for u1. We could come up with an expression for d, but I'm going to go ahead and come up with an expression for u1. So e1 was 6 equals to u1 plus d. So I can rearrange this to make u1 the subject and write u1 is equal to 6 minus d. And that's my expression for u1. So I stop there for the moment. I just box that because I'm going to need that later. 
And now that I've done that, I'm going to move to the second equation, E2. So E2 was 18 equals to U1 plus 4D. And I'm going to use this expression for U1 and replace U1 inside E2 by 6 minus D. So that would look like this. 18 is equal to 6 minus D plus 4D. Simplifying this a bit would lead us to 18 is equal to 6 plus 3D. And now we can see we have an equation with only one unknown, which is D, one of the unknowns we're looking for. So subtracting 6 from each side leads us to 12 is equal to 3D, and dividing both sides by 3 leaves us to 12 over 3 equals to D. In other words, we can see 4 is equal to D, or D is equal to 4. So we now have one of the two unknowns we were after, D. We know that the common difference of this sequence is D is equal to 4. So I'll just go ahead and draw another line here. Now, to find U1, we're going to go back to the expression that we found using E1. So, all we have to do now, since we know that U1 equals to 6 minus D, and we know that D is equal to 4, replacing D by 4 leads us to U1 is equal to 6 minus 4. Finally, we can state that U1 is equal to 2. And we're done. We have found this sequence's first term and its common difference. So that's how you would solve this type of exam type question.